Hey everybody, Tag Life Done Free. Hey, uh, I had a request um, out there that I show us stocking the pond, and so it was actually quite the adventure. Um, didn't quite go as planned and um, was stressful for some, but uh, we absolutely got through it. So if you're interested in uh, watching us stock the pond, come on, just check it out. So uh, we used Arkansas Pond Stockers. They are a uh, company not too far from us. Um, we've used, like I said, we've used them before. I have other ponds. Um, this will be the, our largest project as far as stocking ponds because of our big pond. But uh, basically, I just wanted to show you the website. And uh, if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that tab down there that says Stocking Calculator. So this is a, a pretty simple process. As you can see on the left-hand side, it says Surface Area. You just type in the number of acres that you have as far as the surface area of your pond and and you can guesstimate um, in this particular case my pond's 2.25 acres and then you hit submit and it will give you um, the calculation of fish you can also use square feet um, you can also go into a pond size calculator and it will help you but uh, this is a pretty easy process so as you can see uh, my end so what it says i need is 225 uh, pounds of uh, 225 bass, um, 1,800 regular blue gill, 450 sunfish, 23 pounds of fathead minnows, 27 grass carp, 675 channel catfish, and 225 uh, black crappie. I'll tell you guys though, you know, this is a guide, but I think when you've got a brand new pond that don't have any fish in it, this is where you want to get. But I would be fairly uncomfortable putting this amount of fish in there um, right away. So I'm going to cut the order down in some um, categories. The only one I'm not going to cut down is the fathead minnows because I really want that feeder fish population to get established. Um, the other thing is I'm also not going to stock uh, any black crappie and I probably am only going to stock a few bass. And the reason why, particularly about a black crappie, a black crappie is a prolific breeder and they're a predator fish. And so if you put too many in there right away before your uh, feeder fish get established there you really just won't have anything left and so talk about all these just a little bit um, bass love fishing for bass I'm gonna put a few in but not very many like maybe 50 uh, regular bluegill I'll probably cut this order in half um, sunfish probably in half again the fathead minnows I'm gonna do the whole order grass carp I'm gonna get just a couple because I have a brand new pond and I don't have a lot of grass but I like to you know kind of keep up on it um, the catfish I'll cut that order probably in half and then uh, no black crappie well, everybody, here's where the story actually gets interesting. I, uh, we had ordered, uh, pre-ordered all of these fish, and uh, typically I'd go pick them up and, and uh, take care of them. But uh, I uh, kind of, in an emergency fashion, got called away on business and had to do a little bit of traveling. And, and um, so B was left to take care of this entire process by herself. This is not something she'd ever done before. And there's a lot to it. You know, you've got to, uh, you know, get the fish. you got to get them acclimated. Um, you got to let them out. It all has to happen within an hour, and it was a uh, significant size uh, order. And so uh, she pretty much just had to figure it out for herself. And uh, I think she did a great job, but uh, there was obviously some moments of stress. And so, um, you know, join me, and we'll go take a look at, uh, you know, B's experience of fighting through stocking the pond. So I guess typically B will show up, and uh, here's your truck, Arkansas Pond Stockers. There are numbers on there if you guys want to call them. Um, like I said, we've done a lot of business with them. It's done good. She does what she normally does, verify her order, and uh, verify the order with the truck driver who's just sitting in the truck waiting for the people to come and, and pick up their orders. But she make pretty light work of it. And You know, I'd say uh, so far that uh, B's actually done a pretty good job, and the process seems to be going along uh, fairly smooth, although I can guarantee you that won't be the case <laughs> the rest of the way. But uh, there she goes, gets her receipt, gets her directions on uh, how to do it. And as they're putting the fish together, she can, uh, she'll can she read the directions and uh, see that it matches exactly what I told her, which for all you husbands out there, you'll understand what I meant right there. But see over there in the distance, there's Oyota from uh, Grumpy Acres. I guess she's uh, come to get herself some fish for her pond as well. But this will be nice. You know, we'll get some fish in and... And those fish will be again a force multiplier from a you know a food security perspective, and you know offer us some additional protein. Uh, Yoda and B quite often do these 
uh, great adventures together. I have no idea where G is from Grumpy Acres. He's, uh, you know, probably lollygagging. Catfish. Where's your truck at? Right here, black truck. These are the catfish. Don't kill them. Seventy five per bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have a leak in that bag. Yeah, the new one. This bag is leaking. It's got a hole in it. Does, this bag has a hole in it. Does it? How far you gotta go? Uh, let me put this in. Okay. Uh, thirty. No, how? We live on a thirty minute drive. Okay. Yeah. Twenty five thirty minutes. I would say that it's actually going fairly well. Getting some more fish, loading up. You know, she's got my truck. I think with B's commanding presence, I think she's got this under wraps. Shouldn't be too many more problems, right? So she basically has to load up the truck. Um, I think she ran out of room, you know, trying to put all those bags and coolers and, you know, she should have just stacked them kind of around the coolers. I think they'd have been all right, but um, it was a challenge, I think, for her. Make a list, checking it twice. Gonna make sure she got all her fish, which is a good thing. Bee's pretty organized. I think she thinks she's done, but uh, she's not done. Was that all of mine? No, ma'am, we still got the new okay. there. There's the bass. These are the bass? That can't be bass. That may be bass and that's sunfish. So uh, again, B is uh, working towards getting all these fish in here. And uh, I bet right here she thinks she's done too, but uh, she's not. So better get it squeezed and tight, right? Yeah, the good news is she don't have too far to go, so it ought to be a pretty easy process, but. Well, there's some more fish, so we'll run through that real quick, and she gets loaded up, and then off to the farm. And your dad's like, Brad, take pictures. I know you don't have nothing to do. Can you just take some freaking pictures? Oh my God, they stink. You know, I really enjoy uh, the bloopers, and so I'll continue to just kind of throw them in as we go along. Oh my gosh, come on! Yeah, the rubber bands are on there a little bit tight, and I think uh, she struggled with them. But uh, So she, what she's trying to do is get some water in there from the pond so that those fish can acclimate. Dude, you cannot stay in the bag. She's talking to the fish. There they go, stop! Yep, so she'll get them in there, she'll get them acclimated, and then... Get them really I cannot get these fish out of the bag. Go, Dory. All right, well, there's two bags, only 17 more to go. I think you guys could really tell her enthusiasm and her excitement about this process. I'm very glad um, that she's excited, you know, about going through it. How do they learn how to use rubber bands? Oh my gosh. Rip it open, Bethany. Rip it open. She'll get it. She'll get it. I don't understand. Yeah, what you understand is you just got to pull it out. It's a loop. It's like a bow, and it'll just pull right out the side. Oh, my gosh. Or you could just rip the plastic. It's amazing any of the fish will survive. She gets it, though. Look at all those little things. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Go B, you got this. These fish are just sitting here dying. No, oh, not dying. Look at all the dead fish. You know, what's interesting about the dead fish that, you know, what she's talking, is they're just shocked. They're really not dead, and they'll actually uh, swim away once they kind of just wake up just a little bit. I gotta go get more fish. Look at that fish has a freaking bug on him. What kind of bug is that? It's a eating fish bug. I it sure is. Yep, my little partner, it's an eating fish bug. You guys gotta watch out for those. Come on. 
I don't think she quite understood what she was getting herself into. It is exciting. Or maybe I just didn't give her a good clue of what she was getting into. But uh, she'll let them sit here, like I said, for just a little bit, let them acclimate, then she'll cut them open. And then, uh, you know, from there, she'll begin to release the, you know, the fish out there. And they'll actually grow really, really quick. You know, a, a bass, for an example, you know, each one of those little bass they stuck out there by the end of the year, you know, be a pound. And they're at the size now, you know, they're, you know, two inches or so. But they're actually going to be eating larvae and that will keep the bugs down, which I have to tell you, I am super, super, super excited about. Oh, no, that's way too wet. I can't get in there. <laughs> you might get stuck in the mud, B. There are a lot of dead fish on the surface there. None of them are dead. They will all float away or, or swim away, you know, once they just kind of acclimate. Don't you think I have my hands full with trying to get, you know, 17 bags of fish into the pond? She really sounds excited. I'm very uh, happy about that enthusiasm. Yeah, this was a lot of fun for me. She has no idea I'm doing this, and she's going to kill me when she watches it on YouTube. But it's a good thing, you know. Uh, like I said, we you know stock these. They'll come the springtime. We will um, order in the black crappie more bass, and then probably you know double this entire order uh, to you know so that we can continue to stock the fish. But I think for the this year and through the winter, you know, this will be a pretty good gig. So go be. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us stock the pond. You know, we, you know, joke around and have a lot of fun. I poke a lot of fun and, and you know, uh, just try to enjoy the day. But there's, the truth is, it's really pretty serious. You know, I've got to create my own food supply. And, you know, that's the garden, that's the livestock, that's the pond, you know, etc. And I have to create my own food supply because I want to be free. I don't want people hanging things over my head. I don't want my family to suffer because I didn't do anything about it. Hold the line. Don't give an inch. Tag out.